So today we're going to use Scratch and Scratch is block coding. And basically with block coding, you can do, you could code games, you could code stories. And this is something you can do in your own time or you can do in class. Um, I love to see their enthusiasm, especially when I walk in the classroom, they get very excited for their 40 minutes of computers. Um, they like to create things and do things. And this is a totally different part of their day or even a different part of their week that they get to create. A lot of them play video games at home. So they're trying to create things that resemble maybe a video game using scratch coding. What I like about it is that you can do all sorts of stuff and you can make things talk, make things do. We did do scratch in my old school. And now that we're doing scratch in this school, working in scratch is one of my favorite things. In terms of tech tools, I use um, an add-on to my Google Slides called Pear Deck. So Pear Deck engages them in a way that they don't necessarily feel like they have to be on camera or, you know, they have to talk in order to be engaged. They can type their responses. So this is an example of that, right? So how are you doing today? Not everyone is going to want to turn on their cameras and say, hey, I'm doing fine. But they use this. So on their screen, they're able to kind of drag a dot to where they feel, where they feel best connects with them. So some of them might be a seven, some of them might be a two, some of them might be a zero. Like I'm in a good space and I can focus. If any of them are at maybe a six and above, I'll say to them, hey guys, if you need a minute today, let me know. If we're at like a nine and 10, I'll put you in a breakout room. If you want to talk to me for a quick minute, let me know. It, this is just a way of me um, just basically checking their temperature. How are you doing today? And that's a question that sometimes we don't necessarily ask kids, but it's, I find it to be super important before I even start my lesson. Knowing these are the tools that I have to work with, like uh, Google Meets and, and Google Classroom, I just have been trying to come up with fun and, and engaging ways of reaching kids. Um, even when they're not in the classroom with me, even when they're not right in front of me. So this year to celebrate um, Black History Month, I wanted to teach uh, our students about the blues. My first thought was I wanted to teach them a blues song. Uh, but then I started thinking about it more and I was like, well, it might be more fun and engaging if uh, we, if I, if I taught them existing blues patterns and then allowed them to create their own songs. This song has an AAB and also a steady beat. Uh, so it was a really great way for the kids to be able to express themselves and their interests and uh, their own experiences. It started off by like taking pictures of what was going on in the classroom. And this was pre-pandemic. This, this goes back before that. And I thought this would be kind of a fun way to connect with the kids, just to kind of keep kids entertained and engaged every once in a while. And then when the pandemic hit, you know, we couldn't be together. So it was just, it was nice to have that connection because my kids were, they were just so sad. I was online with kids talking to them, whether it was direct messages, whether it was comments on pictures. We were talking constantly. I, I had like, I had private conversations going on with almost every single kid. They kept me going and it was, it was great.